Venice makes you see about everything in two colors, sort of a golden yellow and a dark blue violet. Now if I just put this around, it's going to give a golden glow to the background. I've masked out a couple areas. That way I don't even have to think about them. Now the bridge is kind of odd because it's going to be uh, very light with a dark background. And over here is going to be more pink. I'm going to put some oranges below. I might as well go fill in where the windows are. A little bit brighter quinacridone red. I'm going to pull some quinacridone gold down in here. I'm just letting my brush move around the painting. Now I do want some color in here can't leave it completely open because I've painted up here and I want to paint the re reflection as well. Always paint the reflection at the same time as the object that's reflecting. Otherwise it's going to look like a cutout. I'm just vaguely going into these shapes. I'm going to paint this boat in here very, very bright blue. I want it to really show up. I'm using this quinacridone gold, I'm going to run it all the way up the wall then merge some yellow, leaving lots of holes. Now see how the painting is connecting because I'm using the same colors all over it. It's very important. Just repeat the same colors and it's going to look like a coherent painting instead of well, I painted the water, then I painted the buildings, then I painted this person, and I painted the boat all separately. Well, you don't, you don't want that. It won't look like it fits together. Interesting sort of shadows here. These doorways are pretty dark. I need to darken behind the bridge even more. Now I'm going to drip a little bit of purple in here to darken it. Make it look a little older, kind of modeled from age. Shadows underneath the window boxes. That is quite dark. Have a bit of a shadow back here too. Want a little pure cobalt right here.
couple of areas where it's more of the pure cobalt. There's that shadow there. That's all in shadow. Okay, now look how isolated that looks. This is the only object that is this color. So it sticks out like a sore thumb. Thalo Blue is a great color for water though. You can just go crazy with it. Now when you're painting um, water, when you're painting anything, pay attention to your brush strokes. Your brush strokes are going to make more of a difference than what color you use. Now see if I just do a little fill in the thing, how that doesn't look like water, but if I go back over it, do a couple little brush strokes around it, then all of a sudden your brain thinks, hey, that's water. blue shadows on the wall there and then below the wall. And I'll see different brush strokes. Maybe just a tiny bit right there. Probably want to go back and do that darker later so. Some of that bright green moss algae. I'm going to drop a little yellow into it and then just let that sit. Darken this area under the bridge. Put a little bit of purple in there. I want to re-emphasize some of this red here. Red's a great color. Kind of just going to recur throughout the painting. Now if I have some red there, I'm going to need some red down here. This is extremely dark back here. I really emphasize that bridge. couple details on the railings. Always leave details till last. Remember to do railings very, very loosely. They're going to look a lot more detailed, less detail. I'm going to use some phthalo blue right in here just to emphasize that. look 
much darker that way. You kind of want to see the stairs underneath. Just a dash of red down here. Don't really know what it is. Might be buoys or anything. What's important is the color. I'm going to emphasize this really dark shadow underneath here. some cobalt to dull it. Some geraniums. I love the flowers. They're just all over the place. Spilling. I mean, I think I've seen it three-story long geranium plant. It's amazing. I do some bright green shutters. Just to liven it up a little bit. And now I'm going to bleed some purple in them so they're not too obnoxious. These stairs are the last thing I need to do before I remove all the masking there. All the masking is now off. It's much easier to finish up now. darker underneath the bridge. 